Right, first of all, my apologies if this is a bit of a slow one. Um, I'm currently trying to upload Satanic Cinema Part 3. So, yeah, you might be listening to Sorrow the Lagpie rather than Sorrow the Magpie today. But, saying that, hopefully I'll make up with it considering the subject matter of this transhuman file. Yeah, I consider this one to be one of the most fucking disturbing ones that I've come across so far. Let's see what you think, and let's crack on. Sometimes I dream of living forever. Right, so straight away, okay. Most important thing that you're going to hear in this video, I didn't hear it throughout the video when I watched it, is the importance of the number 322, okay? So we have 22 base pairs, base pairs, okay, of chromosomes in our bodies that make us up to be human beings. The transhumanists want to add an extra 22 base chromosomes, hence the button wearing of the shirt and the red and blue for the joining. Okay, yes, the pillars are Freemasonic, but that's not what they're trying to get across here, hence why they're quite transhumanistic as pillars in themselves. Okay, these are the levels, these are the chromosomes. Get it? Got it. So he says, Sometimes I wish I could live forever. And then what appears drawn around him? The wings of Lucifer. Okay, now if you don't think they are, watch how quickly they disappear. On the next thing he says, to never die. Sometimes I wish I could live forever, they pop up, and to never die. Well, when Lucifer died, he becomes Satan, and they disappeared. See? They were bent and broken, and taken off of him. Okay? On top of that, the moment that he says this, he raises his arm to display the infamous Alistair Crowley point to the temple. Okay? It's also half the eye. You put the other arm up, you get the you other eye. Wanted to. This is how they do it, people. All right? But they're incomplete. That's the whole point. As I'm going to try and prove to you. Oh, in the back you see the triangular... Um, depiction of what I believe to be Father Time, but they don't get away or out the way enough for you to truly depict it. This is also done deliberately. As is the sign Duchess Street, okay? That's a homage being paid to the mother of nature, the earth, king of this world, divine feminine Kronos, Jehovah, Grim Reaper, Saturn, Satan. Okay. The bars, this is the imprisonment that we're all stuck in. You even see the pavement, which is another way that they show and give shouts out to the Freemasons. Okay, pavement, bricks, all the same thing. Actually, I dream I, dream I, could, I could just, just know, know everything. everything. I dream I could just know everything. Knowledge, okay. The original sin, yeah. Red and blue once again. Brains aren't, are they? They didn't need to do that. To have super, super intelligence. intelligence. Super, super strength, strength for the matter. matter. Brown on top of the head of this drawing. Chronos. And super, and super speed. speed. I, I wish I could just speed time. To be happy all, all the time. time. Okay. Once again, see, it's just full of it, this one. Absolutely charged with Satanism. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Slits. Over the eyes of this pawn, okay? Didn't have to do slits, I could have done dots. The smiley face, right? They chose slits. It's it's a of which sadness ding, never ding, comes. ding. Fucking knows it, too. But then, sadly, I realised it's all impossible. But is it really? Okay, so there's some neuro neurolinguistic programming right there, followed by the finger of guilt, which is another free masonic gesture okay so um yeah you know to say well i realize this is all impossible but is it really so just giving you a fact and then made it fiction okay 
yeah, so nothing gets on telly without being carefully um, planned and um, devised with a fine tooth comb. Okay, so even putting Duchess Street under Mother Nature, you see it? Cracking on. <clears throat> In, In this program, program I'll be speaking, speaking to the people, people think that, that it is possible. possible. We, we will become silenced. More neuro, neuro... I'm having trouble with that word today. My fucking neurology going out the window. It's probably because I'm so angry at this, I'm trying to keep my cool. More neuro-linguistic programming. Okay? We will. So you don't have any fucking option. We will. Yeah? I'll be speaking to the people who think that it is possible. We will become silent. You see what they did there? I'll be speaking to people that think. They don't think. They're acting like they know. Okay? Not now, of course, but in the future. And a future that might not be as far away as you think, according to them. So, that was the V for Venus. Okay, the planet of Lucifer. Same as Saturn being for Satan. And I'm finding out what they think the future has to for us, human beings. Uh, the future that matters is the... Right, they will always show you the Matrix binary code from the film in every single transhumanistic documentary. Okay, they do this so that straight away it hits your subconscious and goes, oh, <laughs> ah, science fiction. Okay, the Matrix is real. Okay, just the same way that binary code is real. All right, to throw you off. The future of cognition, not really the future of the human race. In short, that was a reptilian, but this is not a reptile file, this is a transhuman file. I'll be speaking to the people who want to make us live forever. Are you the future of the human race? Yes, I don't Yeah, we're all going to die. Oh, the world's going to be taken over. We're going to be made slaves, which is ironically the exact translation of what a robot is. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. That was just brilliant. I said it. You already got this. Oh, BBC. They just don't even try to hide it. So you might have seen this in one of my other BBC documentaries that I am documenting myself. Father Time on the chariot with the Divine Feminine and the Black Horse for Death, which is one of the four from the Apocalypse. Not to mention, of course, the clock. They love getting Big Ben in there. Okay? It's just paying homage to their god, Slap Goddess. All right? Simple as. Yeah, not to mention it's seven minutes to two. Okay? Seven and two is nine. Nine is the number for the dragon. To the majority of us, life is hard. Yeah, fairly simple. Okay, it's another contradiction in neuro linguistic programming. Okay. Hard, simple, no. All right, so look and listen to how they belittle life as we know it, as true human beings. Okay. This is how. It is seen by, and I'm not just going to say transhumanists, okay? Because I've spoken to some transhumanists. One of them commented on a certain video that I did, okay? I had a very just, um, pacifistic understanding and uh, charming conversation, actually, okay? So I'm not tiling all transhumanists with the same brush. It's satanic transhumanists, okay? And you're going to be able to tell very easily that these ones are, all right? So first of all, this is how they belittle us and our lifestyle, or the way our outlook on life, essentially. We live, we do things, we get sick and we die. Wonderful, right? That's truly fucking charming. That's it, that's the end of us. See ya, bye, back into the fucking Matrix. Yeah, recycled, recycle. Okay, thrown in, thrown back out. The fucking roundabout. And that's, that's about, about it. it. Full stop. Nothing, Nothing we can, we can do. do. Full stop. Bottom line, you have no choice. It's neuro-linguistic programming. To others, though, that's, that's not really the case. There is something we can do about it. And that, that is to change the basis of what it means to be human. Basis. They use that word very, very deliberately. Okay. 
the, the 20 second, sorry, the two 22 base pairs, as I mentioned before. Okay. Got control my anger here, sorry. Ben Gatesel is one of those guys. guys. I, I met, met him at an AGI, AGI conference, conference in Berlin. Berlin. AGI stands for Artificial General Intelligence. Right, it does, it, that does, but that's not relevant, okay? The general bit, they've just added in there to show you that it's a general thing these days, you know, it's nothing new, you know, don't worry about it, leave it to them, okay? And it basically consists of a lot of very smart people who think we're close to creating super intelligent AI. So they call themselves very smart. They don't get called smart. Do you see the difference? Do you understand? How smart is it to create something that could potentially kill all of us, including them? Is that smart to you? I think digital immortality is definitely going to happen. My hope is it happens within my own lifetime, so I can take advantage of it. If it doesn't, I'm sure it will happen within the next century or worse. Or worse. Listen to the way these fuckers speak, alright? Or worse. Is that what you're working towards now? Digital immortality is one of the goals that I'm working towards. I aim to build an artificial general intelligence, an AI system that can become massively smarter than human beings. It's an AI system that can become... Ah, oh, blue, pink, yellow, divine, feminine. South, hell. Okay. <clears throat> Massively smarter than human beings and understand more about the universe than any human part. As I said, it's not self, it's not below us, but they use that as a reference a lot of the time. Okay. Also, you have that sun on the shirt here. Ben and others like him call themselves transhumanists. Transhumanism is the idea that we can improve man in all imaginable respects. The plan. Okay, you wouldn't even look at you in the eye through the camera, all right? I wonder why. Ben and others like him call themselves transhumanists. Transhumanism is the idea that we can improve man in all imaginable respects. The plan? Yeah, that's a robotoid, all right? You see him a bit later and he has a glitch. It's a robotoid. Plan with the serpent. Just do one line. Just underline it, all right? told you they're fucking children they're immature okay these are meant to be scientists this is meant to be a very serious important piece of documentation but they always cartoon cartoon eyes cartoon eyes most of them have got cartoon eyes because they're not fucking real okay but this shit certainly is i is to do this, this by way of science, science and technology, technology. Okay. The reason they've chosen green as the chemical is because it is us, it is the heart chakra, okay? It is our adrenochrome, it is our luche, okay? Being fed to what? Saturn, with the ring round it, black and white. Black is Saturnalia, it always has been, okay? Here's your three for Saturn too. Inside the triangle. People, People in the world of transhumanism, transhumanism have a few common, common ideologies. ideologies. One, One for example, example is that, that the human, human brain, brain is limited. limited. And human, human evolution, evolution needs, needs to be altered, altered manually. manually. Another, Another is, is a pretty controversial, controversial one. That aging is something that should not exist. It's a disease. We really we need to abolish aging in the same way that we need to abolish cancer and we need to abolish rape and murder. Did you fucking hear that? I'm on fire today, I swear, guys. Ooh. So, growing old is a crime, then, by proxy of what he's just stated. It's the same as rape and murder, yeah? They see it as a crime. They see it as a... Well, exactly what... <laughs> oh, it's a punishment to them. Do you understand? This is why I say these are not the simple transhumanists, okay? Listen again. The the aging is the way that we need to abolish cancer and we need to abolish rape and murder. It, it... Somehow them two are the same, yeah? As the other two. Yeah. Oh. This is the scythe, by the way. They use anything they can that's, that keeps the same form and shape, fashion. We just shouldn't allow, allow it to exist. And the scythe of crowns. The fact that takes for granted. Of you know, great no choice. Fight, which they also showed because they're speaking of dying, okay? They throw old people in afterwards to try and cloud it, but that is why they've done that, okay? Oh, it says this. Cancer, and we need to abolish rape and murder. Rape and murder. Well, that's exactly what Kronos has done to us. 
okay, raped and murdered our humanity. All right, with the scythe. Aging, we just shouldn't allow, allow to exist. And the, the fact that everyone takes for granted, you know, the fact that everyone takes for granted, you know, there's no choice but to just get old, die, and rot. I mean, in a hundred years, that will be looked on as insanely barbaric, the same way we look back on slavery as insanely barbaric. No. Yep, you with me? That's how they see it. They believe they've been enslaved by the true creator. Okay? They can't help but tell you because pride becomes, becomes before the fall and they are infected with the same pride that Lucifer infected himself with. Okay? In California, a foundation has been set up based on this idea. Notice I, I always stay away from um, the appearance of the worshippers of Kronos, because it's just not relevant. You'll find a lot of truth researchers be like, oh, you know, oh, look at him, he's obviously a fucking crackhead stone, or blah, blah, blah. maybe, it's not, it doesn't matter, it's not the point. Okay? It's about what these people have to say and what these people feel they have to do that matters. Oh, he worship, by the way. Okay. And the idea of um, multiplying the same way that the true creator does. As I always say, Satan subtracts and divides. The creator adds and multiplies. All right. Created by British transhumanist Aubrey de Grey. It's called Sin. Yes. Created by British trans. Blue and red join in. Transhumanist Aubrey de Grey. It's called. Aubrey de Grey. Okay. Now, this isn't actually me taking the piss, but it's going to sound like it. All right. Actually, it's not at all. He is trying to depict Father Time here, okay? Especially with a name like that. You can't be that fucking stupid, okay? It's set up. Pink, yellow, blue, divine feminine. All called sins, sins. And works, and works to, to abolish aging and age related disease. Oh, um, I believe him to be a robotoid as well. Same kind of pupil. It's, it's called, called sins. sins. And works, and works to abolish aging and age related they're sort of like um, kind of cubed in themselves actually a lot of the time the iris is um, Apple Levine's a perfect example it's see called that? Sins. and works to abolish aging and age related disease okay. they, plan to do this by they plan to do this by developing methods to they do it a lot they'll have transhumanists pretending to be robotoids who are actually transhumanists and they'll have robotoids pretending to be transhumanists pretending to be robotoids all the fucking time Okay, just to mix it up and deceive you more. Yeah, to be yeah. treated, treated by, to be prevented by. Again, that's not me taking piss. That's uh, just um, vocal tone and um, uh, the disfluences in between words. Okay, that's what robotoids will do. It gives them time to process data. Involuntary death is a core belief in a transhumanist age for the future human. But as well as changing, but as well as changing how ourselves how work, we how else may we achieve Let's this? Take a look at a few Let's take a look at a few of the ideas proposed. First up, First mind, up uploading. mind uploading. Also called whole also brain called emulation. Whole brain emulation. The, mind is a the mind is a pattern of organization rather than a specific, than a specific collection, collection of, of, collection of, of physical matter. Physical this, is matter. Rather this is the rather idea incredible that idea that we can take an exact copy of our brains and place, it on, place like it on something like a hard okay. drive. That's only rather incredible to them. Okay? To anyone that actually has a fucking brain, they'll realize just how horrifying and terrifying that is. Because that means not only can they duplicate you and use you to say things that you wouldn't actually say, do things you wouldn't actually do, okay, incriminate you, things like that, but it also means that you are no longer an individual, okay? Because you are a copy. I mean, imagine how twins must feel and the way people perceive them. Or imagine if you, uh, yeah, you get the point. So the pattern of so the pattern I'm trying to save your time here. Because there's a lot to this one. That is me, that is me, that is Ben Gertzel's mind. Could be realized, could be in, a realized in a digital it could substrate. Be it could be realized in a quantum computer. It could be realized inside some global inside computer. Some global Anytime computer. they show you blurred images or flashing images, it's a type of um, hypnotization to the beta wave 
programming, which is you watching something, okay? It let things into the subconscious, so that's why they just did that on the screen. Realize, Again, they did not have to do that. If anything, they're trying to show you the stately, uh, cutting edge, you know what I mean? Like, nice and smart and clean. No, they're doing it to try and access your beta waves. Could be realized. Could be realized. It might be theta. It's one or the other. From global I'd computer, some global network. computer network. That pattern of organization that, of organization that is me that is could have many different kinds of bodies different and different kinds of, bodies, kinds of, different different kinds of in incarnations. And and that be, incarnation. That be... See? Reincarnation. A, tr a transhumanist sticks to science. These fuckers are more religious than anyone that isn't scientific. That's what you've got to understand. This is how you can tell the difference. That and the fucking evilness in the eyes. Always. It's really amazing to really experience, amazing to once, experience it once it comes about. In this matrix like in this existence, matrix -like existence we, would live in silicon, we would live in the silicon. Or in other words, or in other words and our new brains could, be copied, new brains could be copied numerous times. There could be many versions, so there could be of, many ourselves. versions of ourselves theoretically placed, theoretically in, placed in any type of body. Fucking body. hell, this world's only got room for one of him, I tell you. Perfect to actually, actually have that happen with our minds and have a way to download our mind into something that is like this. This is very early, so... This is very early, so, you know, who knows what it's going to look like in 2050 and 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 the types of technologies that's that why but that's why we're 2050 okay drop zeroed could have been any year he chose 2050 yeah so seven okay yeah so very ironically or maybe not because it's so fucking obvious with this stuff they think they have the brains for it but they don't because i don't have the heart to go with it um yeah seven's the number of completion okay it's considered considered a divine number not only for the seven rings of saturn but the seven days in the week and the seven uh, colors of the rainbow okay which when you put together you get light the light bearer lucifer okay that's why he said 2050 doing what we do yeah, so that we can advance that for the future they're what, trying to complete themselves like in the okay they are incomplete like, what, what will we look like in the future? Like a planet around a star. <laughs> like a planet around a star. A star, not a sun, not a moon, star. A fallen star. We will be circling Satan, okay? His throne. That's what they're getting at. Black and white duality. The merging of iron. And clay, steel, and flesh. <laughs> Can, Can we, we take, take a, a selfie, selfie together? together? Okay, do you hear me? If I took it, what would I do with the selfie together? <laughs> <laughs> like a psychopath, that psychopathic range of thinking what can i do with this because if i can't do anything with it it's fucking useless including you as a person <laughs> you would post it onto the internet and all your friends would think you were very cool okay, okay. let's take a selfie does not compute and he fucking knew it as well he realized you see the goal very cool okay let's move on mate she does not compute of course she doesn't so if this is just one of them, okay, just one of these abomination creations, and it doesn't understand something as simple as a friend, what the fuck makes you think that it's going to see you as one when there's an army of them? It's lovely. There we go. Mind, Mind uploading, uploading is a long way in the future, if it's even possible at all. all. But, but there's, there's already, already work going on to map the, the entire brain. brain. And <sighs> as, as we learn more, more some scientists think it may be possible to replicate the content of our brains to create consciousness in a computer-like device. Yeah, well, as we learn more, mate, we realise that this is a biased documentary. They always are from the BBC, unfortunately, okay? He's not doing this objectively. You understand? When you report something, when you, you know, as a journalist, you take yourself outside the box, okay? But these people, if you can fucking call them, that's what I say, are inside the box. They're controlled by the box. They are the box. Get it? This, this takes, takes us on to our, our next topic, topic of discussion. Many, Many transhumanists believe in the idea of the three supers. supers.
super longevity, super intelligence, and super well-being. That was the three that I mentioned before. Okay, Ouroboros, Infinity, Consistency Cycle of Reincarnation. Okay, they didn't have to use that; they chose to, and it's on the green for the heart chakra. Okay. Oh, the cross, and it is still just a cross. I've just put it the other way. All right, it's the same thing. And this is actually the triangle, but it's incomplete without the capstone. The same way they do in movie titles with the A's. Okay. In other words, see, I want a challenge. All right, I want to learn. They're not teaching you shit. They're just trying to indoctrinate you. Okay. Being superhuman. So, to the next in our list of possibilities, cybernetics and cyborgs. For me, it's a very practical scenario for the future that we will become cyborgs. See? They left that out at the beginning, uh, take of him, didn't they? It's when we will become cyborgs. Yeah, that's deliberate. Let's get it in your head, first of all. Can you see how this works? I hope you can, because if you do, it won't work. All right? Kevin Warwick is a British scientist who's known for being one of the world's first cyborgs. Cybernetics is all about humans and technology merging together. What did I tell you? So as far as transhumanism is concerned, it's upgrading humans by linking with technology. As humanism is concerned, it's up... His name's Warwick, okay? A lot of these fuckers use fake names. There was a few back then, but they weren't really... Hold enough water to take up your time with, but Warwick very relevant. Okay, war in itself. Okay, well, Satan is the god of war. Okay, um, Wick. Okay, well, they are looking to become illuminated. Okay, by the light bearer Lucifer. Wick, yeah, cool. Okay, so this cybernetic bracelet. I don't know if you see what I see, but I see a fucking skull on one side for the Grim Reaper, and if you look at these legs going round the arm, you'll see better in a minute. They look very much like spider legs to me. What do they look like to you? What do I tell you about the Divine Feminine? It is spider-like, okay? The World Wide Web, yeah? It's digital, and it has span a web round our Earth. It's a shout out. Grading humans by linking with technology. In a way, we already have many breakthroughs that suggest a... Orange for 33. QJ and cybernetics. Advanced prosthetics, pink, blue, yellow for divine feminine, robots, and technology being black face, no face. Okay, forgive the black face, you get what I'm saying. Artificial intelligence, yeah, it has none, it has no face. Okay, that's where it wears masks, that's where it hides under the guise of Satan, Lilith, Eve, Mother Nature, Mother Earth, divine feminine, Grim Reaper, Kronos. It's all the fucking same entity, all the fucking same deity. Made more and more with our bodies. But in 2002, Epson, that's relevant also, okay? Kevin took it a step further. Tell me about your experiments. Well, what I did was to have 100 electrodes fired into my nervous system to link my nervous system with the computer. And in that way, we tried different experiments, giving me extrasensory input, ultrasonic senses, if you like. Ultrasonic senses. Yeah, okay, well, ultrasonic. Sonic is sound, okay, like the key of David. It's not an actual key. It's a key as in a note, yeah. I told you, they're religious. They're highly, deeply religious, okay? They just pretend they're scientists. Oh, and just before I forget, what the fuck makes these <sighs> robotic parasites truly think that the AI will allow them to jump from one piece of hardware to another. I mean, it's not... The AI... You wouldn't let the AI do it to you, right? They seem to think they, they, they can make some sort of fucking pact, some sort of alliance with the AI, the same way Satan did. They can't. They can't do that. It would never let them. It only... Even when it let Satan do it, it was only to infect him. Move on. And linking my nervous system to the internet so that I could control a robot hand across the Atlantic Ocean via the internet, but also experience what the hand was feeling. 
So you could, you could, you could actually feel it in your body. Could you feel it in a cat sensor? Maybe you could do some more twitch Could you feel Evil fucking Canaanite here. Yeah, so, um, left hand, I believe. Yeah, that's for the left hand path. Okay. Satanic. But how I was experiencing it was electrical pulses in my brain. So I could feel how much force the hand was applying as it was my third hand. Kevin's wife also joined in the experiment, and he said they managed to. This is another robotoid, by the way. They communicate with each other brain to brain. I had electrodes in my nervous system, and my wife had electrodes placed in her nervous system, and we linked our nervous systems together. M I R A C O. Okay. So Raco would be Draco, Alpha Draco, okay, Reptilium. They're the ones that run all this. M-I-R-A-C. Miraca. Miracle. Don't tell me they're not biblical. All right? <sighs> D is for, for order. They want order out of chaos. Okay? Chaos is 333. Three, three. C-C. Okay? So you turn them round. All right? It's 33. Okay, and then of course with the extra E, this is what they do. They will triple um, many numbers because they believe it gives them um, extra energy to charge with. That's what that's all about. Okay, I think you see the spider legs clearly in this one. Hang on. The electrodes placed in her. I had electrodes in right, my nervous system. Like you see this? Why? Why has it been fashioned like system. that? And we linked our nervous system. It's not smart, together. is it? So literally when she Understand. closed her hand, my brain was... Would you want to wear a fucking watch that has spider cords coming around here? I mean, if you're into it as a piece of art, that's entirely different. They're not. That's not what they're trying to do. It's never an accident, okay? ...the pulse. So it was a bit like telegraphy, if you like, a telegraph system that we were able to... See, telegraphy rather than telepathy. We used to have telepathy, okay, at the dawn of time. We did. Why do you think all the rest of that brain goes and why it isn't being used now? It's been shut down, okay? Telegraphy is their version. Everything is their own version of the true version. The version in itself, by, by proxy of the word, by definition of the word, means... You know, it's not from the source, it's not from the core. Able to communicate electrically, electronically, from nervous system to nervous system. And clearly the next step is simply doing the same thing, brain to brain. Kevin thinks this is the future. Right, yeah. Okay. Biological, Biological idea. idea. Scientists, Scientists are already, are already growing, growing body parts out of cells, out of cells with incredible, incredible success. success. Mm -hmm. What does that look like to you, coming out the side of the forehead? Helping us Helping to live, to live for longer. longer. But in the but world, in the world of, of trans... Is this not animal cruelty at its most refined, evil, incarnated version? Humanism. Humanism. The, idea the idea of moving away, away from, from, the from the body is a common one. one. That's alright, it's just an animal, right? They're the fucking rats. Okay, that's what makes them feel that they can do this sort of shit. I think, I think soon they'll be able to devise a design bad as you want so that everyone can look how they want. It's probably, it's probably later, later. You, can you can start changing, changing their minds to be how we want them to be. Well, your mind will get changed, but it won't be by you. Many seeing a future of virtual bodies. See this hand? Yeah. Okay. The eye in the middle. Okay. It's all black magic. A new, like a new age, age version of the video game, game Second Life. Oh, Second Life is the same as Left Hand Path, by the way. All right. Vampires. Yeah, that's funny they chucked that in. That's exactly what they fucking are. Vampires. They're going to feed on us, and the AI is going to feed on them. And some, and some even designing, designing prototypes out of Mother feeds on us all. The prosthetic the physical, physical outer bodies. bodies. What if we could build new bodies that are healthier, more sustainable, longer lasting, regenerative, and self healing? Whatever we do, though, transhumanists insist they need to be emerging with technology. Otherwise, we run the risk of being taken over by it. 
of the threat. They always chuck in a, a few threats into these trans human files. Hear it again. Regenerative and self healing. Oh, oh sorry. With the black and white symbolism here, the join in. Do they chuck in on the side here? And then quickly cut it so you don't take it in too much. Just go straight into your theta wave subconscious. They lift. They lift. Whatever, Whatever we do, though, though transhumanists trans insist they need to be emerging with technology. Otherwise, we run the risk of being taken over by it. They insist they need to be emerging with. They insist.